We're filming Nick Hudson's vlog today in Chatsworth House, and as you can see, it's a Dickens spectacular. Hope you enjoy it. Another vlog, I'm somewhere different. Uh, I'm off to Chatsworth House, which is a, uh, it was the Duchess and Duke of Devonshire's home. Was, it is still it. Was or is, I'm with my friend Andrew. It is the Duke and Duchess's home. Driving very well. <laughs> And uh, it's a Dickensian Christmas experience at this place, which I'm looking forward to seeing. Each year they do a different theme. They've done Alice in Wonderland, Wind in the Willows, the Nutcracker one year, and this year it is Victorian Christmas. And as we know, the Victorians invented Christmas. There's also a Christmas market on, which is normally only open for one weekend, but they've opened it for about three weeks because it's so popular. So we're gonna go around that as well. It should be really magical, and we'll do another vlog when we get there. On the land, it's a sign. And uh, soon Chatsworth House shall be appearing. On the left or the right, Andrew? Uh, it's going to be appearing on the left. On the left. So we've got some lovely, it's a beautiful winter's day today. Andy's new to driving, so uh, if we do crash. Thank you for that. It's uh, car parking. That's Chatsworth House. And there it is, beautiful Chatsworth House. What films and television shows is this used in? Oh, I don't know what I don't know. We'll have to Google it and get back to you. Uh, I know it was the Duchess, which with um, Keira, is it Keira Knightley in that? Yeah. Beautiful. And that was actually based on a, on a Duchess of Devonshire. Um, for loads and loads of history here and secrets and silly things and silly stories to tell you, but we will um, we will tell you that when we stop, because I'm trying to come. Hey, so welcome to Chatsworth Christmas Market. Here we are, um, myself and Nick. Up there you can see the old stables to Chatsworth. Unfortunately from here, the, the house is sort of covered in um, scaffolding. Get that the Orton Towers look. Yeah. We'll get some photos from the inside and put it on the, um, the Facebook page or whatever it is. But we're in the Christmas market now, aren't we? Yeah, we are, yeah. It's very nice. What have we got? We've got Sparkle. The, sh the Silk Shack. She was at the Shake Shack for years. I know. Later, maybe. <laughs> um, God, let's have a little walk through. It's very busy here for a weekday, isn't it? Yeah. The parking's five quid. So. It's very kind of Angie to take me here. We've got Women World. So there is a bit of a theme. Park. About as camp as it gets. Clive's Candles. I don't know where they've been. I reckon it's time for a hot drink, would you reckon? It's time for a hot drink. I would normally have a wine and mold wine, but unfortunately I'm driving. Oh, there's a chat with hog roast. So I think that's got to happen, isn't it? Yes. Oh, look at those dogs. Wow. Yeah, very, so, yeah, very, very countryside here. Yes, isn't it? Got a coke. I'm right. getting a hog roast. Oh, hog roast, yeah. Still up the stables. Stables haven't moved. Still here. And in a stable oh, relationship. I've got I'm to give this to a lady either side. Which lady are you going to give it to, Andrew? No, I'm not sure yet. Which, which, which lucky girl? Which one should Andy give it to? It's very nice. I've never had a hog roast. Yeah, what is a hog roast? It. So it's just pork with black ap apple sauce and crackling in a roll. Um, you know, it's from the pig. So we're still in the market. We just had a hog roast. It was a bit cold. Food review, Andrew. And the chap kept saying that we had to give it to the girls either side. I wasn't quite sure what you meant by that. Um, yeah, not great, was it? It was fine. Se seven pounds for a cold hog sandwich. It was all right. New fashion. It's all right. It's Chatsworth, so you have to pay over the, you know, you have, yeah. everything's a bit more They've expensive. They've got you, haven't they? Yeah, a bit more expensive. Not another hog roast there, look. You should try that one. There was the, <laughs> with literally no one there, so maybe we should have gone for that one. But there maybe you are. that one's nearer. Yeah. Um, so, the garden's over there. The, uh, the current Duke is a big fan of modern art. So when you go oh around dear. the gardens, there's, yeah, there's a lot of modern art around them. There is actually a couple of cool things, but some of them... Mm, what does it mean, Andrew? I don't know. I don't, I don't understand what. So, um, cliche. I know. But. Three famous things were filmed here. Oh, Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, The Duchess, and what else was it? Jane Eyre. Jane Eyre. That's it. 2010. Jane Eyre. On a g-string. But there's so many, so much stuff has been filmed here. And um, there's also another um, country house very close. This is obviously the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. The Duke and Duchess of Rutland own Haddon Hall, which was used for the foot loads of filming, even more than this. Uh, the most famous thing from the Haddon Hall, just just, just up the road, was probably the Princess Bride. Uh, his car, the main, the, you know, the baddies' castle, you know, whatever it's called. Uh, that is, um, that was, that was uh, Haddon Hall. Uh, and they film loads and loads of stuff there. There's a really cool thing called, a, called the Tudor Feasts, which is on YouTube, which is filmed at Haddon, which is really cool. So lots of, lots of filming locations around here. Oh, we've got an umpa band. Oh, I've seen this lot. 
This is Grandpa. These were these were in a field in my village not so long ago. They're really good. That caught you by surprise, didn't it, Nick? I know. I know, Chuck. Couple of words. I'm all appointment only. <laughs> Beautiful stable. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. Stable courtyard, they were called. Yes. Weren't they? No, the oldest thing on the ground is actually the hunting lodge that dates back to the Tudor times. Uh, we can't see it from here. If you walk through there, you have to see the big hunting lodge at the top where the women would stay uh, during the hunt. And um, the Bess of Hardwick built it. Very, very, one of the most richest women in Tudor England. One Who, of the most richest? One of the most richest. That's not good English, is <laughs> no. it? One of the richest women in England. Very, very powerful woman in Tudor England. Um, worth Googling. She's buried in Derby Cathedral. See her grave. Anyway, um, we're going to head down to the house now um, and have a little look. It's a Victorian Christmas house themed something or other. Immersive experience kind of a thing. So we're going to see how that turns out. They're also opening this uh, Chatsworth late at night at the moment, doing Twilight at Chatsworth. And Nick wants to do a, uh, one of his scare attractions here, of course. First thing he said when he looked at Chatsworth House, it's screaming out to be a theme park. Of course. Could you imagine the, Ju <laughs> the Duke and Duchess's face if you met them? Your Grace, I think your home should be a theme park. I don't think the Duke Comment would be below, too. what <laughs> ride would you like to see snaking around Chatsworth House? Yeah, right. Oblivion first, <laughs> or the Christmas market. Right, come on then, should we go down to the house? I think this here, Andrew, we haven't actually seen the front of the house, have we? Well, no, we, 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 oh, we, we, we sort of driving in, didn't we? Yeah, the front of the house. Really up. We're going to go to, to the main entrance now, the business entrance. Uh, the first Duke of Devonshire was created after the Glorious Revolution of 1688. Why was it glorious? Because there wasn't a drop of blood spilt. It was the last time we were conquered. We were conquered by the Dutch in 1688. William of Orange married the daughter of our last Catholic king, James II. And they reigned as William and Mary, king and queen together. And, it, um, and the first Duke of, Dutch, uh, Duke of Devonshire was created because he supported William of Orange in his, um, uh, in his invasion. Which is why the, local, the closest town called Chesterfield uh, was famous in supporting the, uh, the the conquest as well. So this area was very much um, firm Protestant uh, <laughs> believers, and they supported the hello. <laughs> How are you doing? Where's the monkey? I just saw a friend of mine. Interruptions aside, <laughs> um, I, know, I've got, I've, I could go in with. I'm even wearing my uniform at the moment because it's cold. So uh, we are linked to a theme park attraction here because they do have go ape at Chesterton. Yeah, they do, yeah. Um, so Andy, yes, uh, yep. for those of you who might not realise, Andrew is a, hist a historian. A little bit, one of tour guys. Yeah, <laughs> really? Why, why I dragged him along to this. Uh, and yeah, you met I, him yesterday. I don't know much about, to be honest, I, I, I've been around the house three times now, so I know as much as the other tourists, really. I haven't looked much into it, but um, there's some really interesting stories regarding Chatsworth. Um, I think well, the one most of our viewers will be interested in, is it haunted? Very much so, yeah. And I think... Um, it's crying out for a ghost tour around here, isn't it? Like a, yes. like a ghost experience in the, in the house. But, uh, yeah, I don't know much about, again, I don't know much about the ghosts. Well, really. let's, uh, let's make our way in and we'll see you on the other side. Yeah, Boom. six million words. He invented some phrases such as butterfingers, slow coach, and devil may care. That's cool. Do you know, um, Shakespeare made up over 5,000 words to add to the English language. Eyeball, puking's my favourite. Anyway, he's got Christmas Carol there, look. Scrooge and Marley. That's the chapel, Christmas Carol. The chapel is amazing. Mm. Where do you see the chapel? It's aesthetic. Last year, last year, they had a big like, Christmas tree that touched the ceiling. It was incredible. The old curiosity shop. Is that still open in London? You can go and see that Lincoln Lincoln's in Field. Tale of Sioux City. So the only one I've actually read in its entirety. Oh, and Oliver Twist as well, I've read. The painted hall is amazing. It's just a Kenzie in London by the looks of it. In the Great Chamber, we've got Oliver Twist. Fagin. Professional pickpocket. Counting his spoils. And the Heartful Dodger. So here we have the prize turkey from Christmas Carol. Know one of those sold prize turkeys hanging in the window. Mm. You're a prize turkey, aren't you, Nick? A bit of sausage. Thank you. <laughs> this is their kind of Victorian street. It's very nice. Tell us about how Victorians important they are for Christmas. Well, the Victorians invented the Christmas that we know today. 
the whole, it was Queen Victoria that first did the Christmas turkey. It was a gift from America. Don't be rude about. Yeah. And she, she did have a 52 inch waist, didn't she? And all the things that we know really today about, you know, that we, we celebrate Christmas wise today is really was the Victorians that invented it, wasn't it? And there's a lot of, sort of pagan things in there as well. I don't know why I'd have a Christmas tree out there and knock it down, but very nice effort, isn't it? Very nice too. They're going to change, aren't they? My goodness, it's such a chapel, isn't it? The chapel we're going into now. Goodness me. And that is the biggest Christmas tree I have ever seen in my life. And this is themed to be the Ghost of Christmas Presents room. They do actually have services in here. I love this is amazing. This is amazing. Isn't it? No, you can't. Oh, it's some of the jigs modern art. You'll see at the top of the chapel there. Statue, golden statue. It doesn't look that modern there. It is. I think it'll be anyway. It looks modern to me. You know, keep in mind that this is someone's house. That's where the family would actually sit up there during chapel. They wouldn't sit with the servants who would sit down here. So the, fam the Duke and Duchess in times gone by would sit up there. And this was one of the very, f this, part, one of the part of the, this is the, the oldest part of the house itself that we know now. Um, this, this dates back to the um, late 17th century, this room. Uh, we're in a room with an upside down Christmas tree. For some reason. Beautiful room, isn't it? Yeah, it's stunning. I was just saying, um, Dickens, I think, is one of the second or third most quoted man in the English language. Uh, first, of course, we know is going to be Shakespeare. And then, second, it's either, I can't remember if it's Dickens or Dr. Johnson, but they're in, second or third is Dickens and Johnson, but I can't remember if it's Dickens at second or not. It just must be so amazing to live here. You know, that's what I always think when I go in these massive homes. And it's all the Egyptian stuff and just bits and bobs everywhere. This isn't fake. Amazing. All made from um, pages and books. That's very clever. My metaphor. Very good. Stunning. What are we going into now? Andy? We're going into the painted hall. This is special. Oh, we're not going into the painted hall, it's a tease. Sorry about the light. Here's another Victorian. Yet yeah, another Christmas tree. And we're outside the house now, aren't we? Yeah, the roof paint is all. Yeah, lovely tree. The Victorian sort of street scene, aren't they? Yeah. In the beast shot. It is all this time. And here is the grand staircase. And how grand it is. I wonder what the Christmas tree budget for this place was. Unlimited. You know, I reckon it's quite. Well, we saw a few coming in, didn't we, lying around? It's a fake fireplace. Complete with electric socket. And birds singing indoors. Where else would you find a pram with a snake as the hands? So there must be some story here. Um, how amazing is that? 
Clever, isn't it? Um, and we've got Be Back Soon from Oliver playing yeah. in the background. Um, loads of thunders and lightning is going on. Yeah. This is the one Moody version playing in the background. Sorry, YouTube, don't see us. Uh. So uh, we can hear the chain rattling. We'll see when Scrooge gets visited by Marley. Marley. He's been at my four guys, isn't he? Yes. And here is Marley in the mirror. Looks more like Casper to me. Yeah, okay. All his money is counting. All the chats with Jeff Gold Corey. That's my place. Hello, thoughts are coming out. It's got a Christmas tree though, it's not very authentic. It's a nice, nice effect. But I found balls on the pillow. Be able to work on camera is he's actually shaking, trembling. And uh, he's about to fly. Just like me when I walk up away up there. Nice. Because the it's 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 goes across his present. There's a bathroom in there. It's really a lovely silhouette you have, Andrew. Very Victorian. There's a sink in there. There's a bath whole bathroom in there. It's amazing. <laughs> Camp Look at this here. I mean, Camp is Christmas. Right, the Tinkerbell's taken over. So these are all the dupes in the If any, there's as much as this. The Melbourne tree. Quite an important painting here as well. And that is my local pub in Chiswick. <laughs> really? George, George the Fourth. There you go. Links to Jupiter Dent. No, the worst king we ever had, George the Fourth. <laughs> good name for a pub, isn't it? He was the Prince Regent. Useless man. Was he the one that went mad? No, that was his dad. Hence <laughs> why he was the Prince yeah. Regent. It's really Art Deco now. This is the servants' um, access, you know, stairs. You can see the lift that they used. So awesome, isn't it? That's a big lift. Yeah. When was that this added? Is, Do we know? Well, this is 20s, all this. Amazing. You can this see it's Art Deco. Proper Gosford Park now. As we go down, there's an amazing thing I want to show you in a minute. But we'll go down. Not. It's a light bulb with a frame. So here is the ride control panel. Yeah, this is the bathroom water heater control panel. So you can control the water all throughout the house. So if people are staying in certain places, you can turn it off and off and on and stuff. It's quite amazing, isn't it? And it still works. It still it's works, good. yeah. Amazing, isn't it? What a world we live in. Hot mm. and cold water. <laughs> Often at the same time. Americans are thinking, oh. <laughs> really? Isn't it the Tony Christmas tree? It's a tree we saw earlier. Yeah. And another, another, another view of the painted hall. will be through there. Well, you can just 
you see like 1920s party going on in there. I mean, that is like an episode of Poirot Raising the Hell. Exactly. Poirot at Christmas, indeed. Oh, beautiful, isn't it? I love that view. It's the absolutely night. beautiful. Bullseye, of course. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to go through to the Great Dining Hall, which is amazing. So yes, the Great Dining Room, obviously, links to Miss Havisham. Mm-hmm. Great expectations. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, uh, absolutely incredible. Mm-hmm. You can imagine eating here, having your... Oh, there's a word, the. I found a, found a hidden word, the. <laughs> it was the better times, it was the worst yeah. times. Andy is taking one for the team. <laughs> no, not at all. This and is the best day of my life. <laughs> and fulfilling his lifelong dream of dressing up as a woman. Mate, I'll do it every weekend. Here we go. And then in the next room, there is a frame that you can pose in. I'm going to absolutely get by. <laughs> we have help. Andy's dresser will help him. And you can um, dress up. Perfect. Should we uh, wait for the reveal? Like a hashtag Christmas at Chatsworth. Hello, Andrew. <laughs> and <It's> Relina. <laughs> It ain't all oh, jolly or pleasure out in. It's wonderful. It's a fine life. It's a gorgeous guy, ever did see. Who else does she sing? Who will tie it up in the wind? Who will tie it up in the wind? Who will tie it up in the wind? That's brilliant. So, guide us through your attire, Lady Andrew. I think I look lovely. I'm going to Sunday lunch. <laughs> At Chatsworth. <laughs> So we'll take a photo of you in the frame. Yeah, hundred percent. Okay. So, uh, what? Well, such fun. I'll be the grandest lady. Yeah, right, it's right. It's not the right You'll turn in the frame, Andrew. We'll take a photograph. Okay. Okay. That so Andy not. is. Uh, yes. Let's go. That concludes our video. Chatsworth House. <laughs> what else would you want? A bit of a coda to that interesting experience. Um, here we are. Oh, I won't show you that. Here we are in the sculpture room, <laughs> and uh, maybe they'll all come to life like they do in the shiny or night at the museum. But Andrew, did you enjoy Chatsworth House? It's a bit dark. Fun? Let's go into the light. Let's have the Christmas tree in the background. Did you enjoy Chatsworth House, Andrew? I absolutely did. Did you enjoy Chatsworth House, Nick Hudson? Yes, Nick, it's Nicholas absolutely Charles beautiful. Hudson. I mean, we haven't. I get the impression we haven't seen it all. Is yeah. this the normal tour? That's pretty much tour? the normal tour, yeah. That's yeah? pretty much it. Um, I will honour Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. There Charles Dickens, Christmas Carol. God bless us. One and God all. God bless us, everyone. 